Hey guys, this is Unix and welcome to another episode of the How to Play series. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about Lion the Demon Witch. Lion is a ranged intelligence hero who is commonly played as a hard support or a roaming support, but can also be played as a mid laner in some scenarios. He is known for his two disables, Impale and Hex, which together allows Lion to help his teammates kill their enemies with ease, while he also drains their mana with mana drain so they can't fight back effectively. He is also feared for his ultimate ability Finger of Death which is a powerful nuke that becomes more and more powerful with each kill he makes with it, allowing it to scale infinitely and one-shot enemies if he gets enough Finger of Death stacks. Impale stuns and damages enemy units in a line. Impale is blocked by Lincoln Sphere and can be used to break multiple Lincoln Spheres with one cast if used correctly. It has a slightly longer cast range than shown, meaning it can be used to stun enemies further away if it's ground targeted. The damage is applied upon landing, not when a spike hits the target. Earth Spike hits invisible units and if it hits an invisible unit, it will show a visual effect. This is very useful when playing against invisible enemies. Hex turns an enemy unit into a frog, rendering it useless for a few seconds. Hex silences, mutes and disarms the unit. It also kinda slows the enemy by setting its movement speed to 140. However, the target can still move faster by having a bonus movement speed buff like haste or surge. Hex instantly destroys illusions. This can be useful against illusion based heroes. When the talent is chosen, it loses its unit target properties and becomes a ground targeted spell, and therefore can't be blocked by Lincoln Sphere anymore. Mana Drain drains a target's mana and gives them to Lion. The Mana Drain link breaks when the target is out of vision, exceeds the breaking distance, runs out of mana, turns spell immune or invulnerable. And for some reason Lion will sometimes continue keeping the Mana Drain pause unless you cancel it manually. Also like Hex, Mana Drain also instantly destroys illusions if used on them. When the talent is chosen, the two extra targets are chosen for mana drain at random with node priorities, and the secondary links break as soon as the primary link is broken. Finger of Death deals high magical damage to a single target and gains a stack if the target is killed with the spell or 3 seconds afterwards. Each stack permanently increases the damage of the spell. You don't need to land the killing blow of Finger of Death to gain a stack. Finger of Death puts a debuff on the enemy that lasts 3 seconds after the spell is cast and if the target dies during this time, you will get the stack. Lion can only gain Finger of Death stacks from heroes and Meepo clones, but not Arc Warden doubles, illusions or creep heroes like Spirit Bear. You can gain 2 Finger of Death stacks from a single kill with Refresher Orb or Refresher Shard by using Finger of Death twice on the same enemy before the stack counter expires. There are two ways to play Lion. The first way is to play him as a support and the second way is to play him as a mid. The skill build doesn't change much for Lion whether he's playing support or mid, but he might get 2 or more points of mana drain instead of maxing earth spike when he is up against heroes who depend a lot on their mana to cripple them. Because Lion is a hero with 2 disables, he can still aid his teammates with his disables to kill enemies like a support. But using finger of death whenever off cooldown to get kills or just finger of death stacks in general is crucial for him to scale into the late game no matter which role he's playing in. The only real difference of these two ways to play Lion is the amount of farm he gets and therefore his itemization. So if you are playing the support role, the starting items would look something like this and you can swap out some of the branches if you need to get wards and courier for the team. And these are the recommended items for a support Lion. So if you are playing as a mid laner, you can start the game with these items. And these are the recommended items for a mid Lion. As you can see, the difference between these two ways is his itemization because the different amounts of farm he gets from these two roles. But the general way to play Lion is to use your disables to aid your teammates get kills while using your ult to gain stacks or kills and scale into the late game. This is what makes Lion scale into the late game even as a support. 
Lion's talent size follows. For level 10, you have either 90 damage or 100 cast range. The 90 damage talent is a good choice for Lion as it allows him to farm faster and get his items faster. This is specially good for a mid lion. The 100 cast range extends the reach of Lion's spells, allowing him to stay in a safer distance while he aids his teammates with his spells. For level 15, you have either 150 gold per minute or plus 200 finger of death damage. The 150 gold per minute talent is good for getting items faster and scaling into the late game no matter which role you are playing. The plus 200 finger of death damage talent basically gives you 5 stacks of finger of death, which is great for any game as it increases your nuking potential. For level 20, you have either plus 2 mana drain multi target or plus 500 health. The plus 2 mana drain multi target talent is a good way to deal with illusions and prevent enemies from casting their spells in fights by stealing their mana. The plus 500 health talent prevents Lion from getting bursted down by enemies, allowing Lion to survive a bit more than usual to cast his spells and contribute to fights. For level 25, you have either 325 AoE Hex or plus 1000 Earth Spike cast range. The 325 AoE Hex is a great choice to destroy illusions and disable many units at once in a small AoE with a short cast range, while the plus 1000 Earth Spike cast range is a good choice to disable many units from a longer cast range. Lion works well with heroes who have a high damage output and the disables Lion provides will help them do their damage. Lion also works well with other nukers who can help him gain finger of death stacks by quickly bursting down enemies together. He also works well with heroes who have set up spells and heroes who can buff his spell casting abilities. Lion is good against heroes who have a small mana pool or depend a lot on their mana because he can drain their mana with mana drain. He is also great against heroes with illusions which he can instantly destroy with hex and mana drain and heroes with low health who can be easily killed by finger of death. Lion is bad against heroes with high burst damage who can kill him before he can disable them. He's also bad against heroes with silences because he depends a lot on his spells to be effective. And finally he's bad against heroes who can jump on him and kill him quickly because he doesn't have any escape spells. Well thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you learned something new from this video which will help you become better at playing Lion. If you like this video and want to see more of this series, subscribe to my channel, leave a like and share this video with your friends. And turn on notifications so you would get notified whenever I post a new video. And comment down below which hero you would like me to talk about in the next episode in how to play series. Also while you are down there, feel free to comment and leave suggestions for future videos so I can make better videos for you guys in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.